Hi folks, last week I showed you how I make these food glasses. I try also to film it in a very professional way, but I soon realized that my head was shaking and the video wasn't coming as expected. So I absolutely need a slider. I already own a couple of sliders, but are very big, are very uncomfortable to use them because you need to mount them on two tripods and then you can slide the camera and this is a lot of equipment to bring with you when you're filming. So I need a slider that can fit inside my backpack, that can mount, can be mounted only on one tripod and also that can slide in a very different way. I don't want a, a classic slider that can slide the camera just in a linear motion, but this time I'm going to have a camera that can slide all around the subject. So it's like a round slider, but it's very, very interesting. So I start to draw some projects and I think I have got it. So let's see if the things I have in my mind can become reality. Let's go. So I bought on eBay these gears. The big one is six centimeters wide and the small one is only three centimeters wide. My idea is to have a gear system that can invert the big gears and keep them at the right distance. So this will work. A plexiglass base, very thick and very strong, will be the base where I can mount all the gears on top. I will use also four ball bearings to do this to have a very smooth movement. So I will use my drill press and a drill bit big enough of the same size of the ball bearing and drill a hole on both sides. So we end up to have four holes that are deep enough to insert the ball bearing and this is a very precise fit. So I only need to push it inside and this will snap inside. And this is the result. To co connect the gears on top of the plexiglass I will use a very two very strong stainless steel bolts. It's very important to glue in place the gears on top of the stainless steel bolt. Now is the time to connect also the smaller gears. To do this I will make two holes, these are 7mm hole, and using a thread threader, threadener I can thread the holes using also a little bit of oil to don't overheat the plexiglass. Two big bolts now are inserted and the, as you can see the gears spin freely. It's just a matter of connecting everything again together and this is the result. As you can see, the right gear turn in a clockwise direction and the other one will turn in a clockwise direction. This is what I want, what we need for this project. And now that the most difficult part is done, the gear system, let's start to modify a couple pieces. So follow me for about one minute and let's see how to do it. So let's take eight half inch female T adapter shape and this will be the structure of my slider so are very strong and cheap components and to make the movement smooth I will use also ball bearings you find size and quantity for these projects in the info below in the video description as you can see the ball bearing have almost the same size of the half inch female tube and I only need to press it inside is very hard so a little trick is to use the vise to do this with my vise it's a very easy job i have to insert the ball bearing very slowly until we end until we reach the end of it so as you can see this is the ball bearing completely inside the, the tube and it's so pre it's, just, it's such a precise fit that, that, that no glue is necessary for this we repeat the process also on the other side and we repeat this process four times. So we end up to have four, only four female teeth, as you can see. Now with a marker, I, I mark the height, the top size, the top part of the ball bearing and I can cut away the part and send the component very smooth. This, is a, this process isn't really necessary, it's just for keeping my slider more compact and more smaller inside my bag. So this finally is the result and I'm very proud of how it looks like, all smooth and very precise. Now let's take instead other two components. So the first four components I show you now are for the tripod mount and for the camera mount. This time we need to modify two with the same procedure but this time with bigger baller bearings. So as you can see the hole, the inner hole is 10 mm wide. The last two components we have to hack are this one. I represent them in green so you can see all the components 
are different and this one doesn't need ball bearings instead have to stay perfectly straight and I will use some metal washers and some epoxy glue to do this. So recapping we have four ball bearings with small ball bearings inside, two blue one with 10 mm white hole and two green one with 10 mm washers inside. Now it's just a matter of reconnecting everything we made until now. So let's start to insert a green one, so I remember you that this is a fixed component. We have no ball bearing, a blue one that instead have a ball bearing inside, a green one and then on the other side a blue one. Now it's very important to make everything at the same height, so I use a couple of washers to keep to have all the tube at the same height. Now we have to connect firmly, securely in place the green component. So a hole is drilled uh, on the both sides. So as you can imagine, it's just a matter of inserting a pin, in this case a screw, but you can use also a nail or something like this. So as you can imagine now, the, the green components are only one piece with a bolt, with a long bolt, and then with the gear on the bottom. So only the green parts will spin with using the gears. Now I took four tubes. These are 30 centimeters long, but I think you can choose any dimension. You can go up until 60 centimeters without problem. Connect everything very strongly. And now we, we just have to connect the four first female T tubes we have modified at the beginning. This, as I told you, will be the base of my camera. So a plexiglass base with a slot on the side is mounted on top using two big screws. So these screws are have the same dimension of the ball bearings, so a very precise movement and a knob is put on top. This is to secure the camera and changing the angle of it. We do the same thing, but this time with a much stronger material, this is aluminium, and also here you can choose to change the pitch and angle of the base. slider is very very fluid and I can control the angle so the curvature of the slider just controlling the two notches here you can control the, the tubes here on the top and here on the base so for example if I keep them very wide open so very very far away from each other here on the base and very far each other here on the top like this the, the effect that you get is that you have a, a very classic slider so you, you can just move the camera in a very linear motion as you can see it's moving linearly uh, almost because here it's still closed uh, but if you close also here so you put the tubes close to each other here on the top so you can see now that they are coming closer the, the camera angle is moved has moved and the same thing also here if you keep them very close to each other now the slider behaves in a very different way now the slider will slide in a round motion so check it out the camera will will uh, wait a moment I start from here and the camera now will start to rotate around the subject 
keeping it in the center and focusing on on it i need to i only need now to practice with this slider and find how to tune it so i have to put some notches here and also here and remember how far away from the subject i have to be and how i have to point the camera and where the subject have to be placed it's not complicated i just have to practice with it it will take a couple hours but nothing that's not a problem and as you can see now the movement of the arms is opposite so for example if the one on the base is turning on in a clockwise direction the one on the top is turning in a clockwise direction this is the reason why i place the gears so that we can uh, uh, make the movement opposite uh, it works great in a very fluid way so i hope you enjoyed the project this time please leave a thumbs up i don't know why youtube is trying to kill my channel as you can see i have almost 5000 subscribers but only 10000 can see my videos i really really don't know why and if you know the solution please write me on the comments below what's going on um, i leave you with my two previous projects so you find the links here here and check them out and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial ciao ciao